2.3a product and quotient rules and higher order derivatives. Okay, so the product rule, the product um, is what you get when you multiply two numbers, right? So it's the answer after multiplication. Um, and the product rule is what happens when you have to multiply two equations or two functions um, and get the derivative of it. So basically, um, let's say we have a function called f and a function called g. So they're two different functions. Um, we're going to call f of x u and we're going to call g of x v. So the product rule is as follows. If I have the need to derive, d over dx means derive, um, the functions f and g because they're being multiplied, so u times v, um, then my answer is going to be the function u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. So um, it's u times v prime plus v times u prime. So these are being multiplied. And this is how I'm going to um, get the derivative of two functions when they're being multiplied. Okay, so to put the product rule into play here, I derive each function using the product rule. Alright, so as you can see, I have two separate um, functions. Hopefully, um, the parentheses is visual, helping, helping you visually see the two different um, functions. Uh, so I'm going to call one u and I'm going to call one, the other v. So u and v. Um, and I'm going to follow the product rule. So f prime of x is going to be and I'll use symbols for now, u times v prime plus v times u prime. So for the most part, what I try to do first, well, what you should try to do first, since you're learning at this moment, um, is figure out what u is, what v is, right, did that, and then figure out what u prime is. So what's the derivative of x squared plus 1? So it's 2x. And now, what's the derivative of v? So what is v prime? So looking at v, the derivative of that is 3x squared plus 0. So there are my u, my v, my u prime, and my v prime. So now really, all I have to do is take all of these numbers and put them together. So f prime of x equals u. u is x squared plus 1 times v prime, which was 3x squared, plus v, which was x cubed plus 3, times u prime, which was just 2x. Um, and this is my derivative. This is my answer. There's nothing wrong with this answer. The only thing left to do would be to simplify. Um, if this was an FRQ, you wouldn't have to. For multiple choice, however, the choices might not be this um, obvious. They might have actually uh, distributed, right? Like, so distributed that and distributed that. Okay, I, I, it's hard to tell, um, but I'm confident that you can distribute this successfully, right? Okay, so there's the distribution, um, and then you could even keep going further uh, uh, by combining like terms, right? Um, but this is basically it. Next. Quotient rule. Uh, the quotient rule, quotient is the answer you get after you divide. And quotient rule is when you're dividing functions. So rather than multiplying like product rule, here, so I'm going to have the derivative of a function, um, and it's going to look like u over v. So u would be the function on top, and v would be the function on the bottom. Um, and so that is going to be v times u prime minus u times v prime. 
over b squared. So notice how the product rule I got to add, quotient rule I, I get to subtract, um, and it's going to end up being another fraction, so I'm dividing again. Um, there's a little, I don't want to call it jingle, <laughs> but it's like this little a phrase that helps people remember this. If you remember that the upper function is the one on top, so it's the higher function, and then the one on the bottom is the lower function, so the low function, um, this little song can help you. Okay, so it's low, well, hold on. Let me use the highlighter so I can uh, highlight what I'm talking about. Okay, so low, then d high, because that means the derivative of the higher function, minus high d low, the derivative of the low function, over low times low. So low d high minus high d low over low times low. Low d high minus high d low over low times low. So that might help you. Um, you might think I'm crazy, and you might be making fun of me right now, but I guarantee you I'll hear one of you sing this to yourselves in class. Okay, so example two, uh, disregard whatever example number it says on your paper. I made an oopsie. So example two, uh, here we're just going to differentiate, and um, it's being divided. There are two functions, right? So um, this is going to be u over v. So u's on top, v's on bottom. So u prime, i got to figure that out, and v prime. So u prime, so x cubed minus 1 is 3x squared. v prime is 2x. Okay, so now f prime of x, because I am looking for the derivative, so I need to write that down. I need to write this is the derivative, right? The derivative equals, and then proceed to do the low d high minus high d low over low times low. So I'm going to write it down. So low d high minus high d low over low times low, which is squared. Okay. So, d. x squared plus 1 times u prime, which is 3x squared, minus u. Uh, u is x cubed minus 1 times uh, v prime, which is 2x over, and a lot of people forget this part, low times low, so v squared. So x squared plus 1, and then I square that. Um, again, perfectly fine answer. The only thing left to do is to simplify somewhat. Um, but I'm going to skip to simplifying. Okay, it's not a big deal. Sometimes they even tell you what to plug in, so you don't have to simplify. Um, well, it is a big deal, but you should know how to do it, so I feel like I shouldn't have to keep going over it. Okay, example three. Um, so here is an example of what I was saying. They're giving me something to plug in, which, believe it or not, makes me happy. Because if I have something to plug in, um, then I don't have to worry about any kind of simplification. Okay, so here I have a quotient rule again. So this is u over v. Um, so, first off, we're going to start off by finding f prime of x. So, I'm just finding the derivative right now, and then later on I will plug in um, the 2, okay, for x. Okay, so, again, let's see, what is u prime? Because I know what u is, u is the top function. So, u prime is 2x plus 3. Okay, what's v prime? v prime is 2x. Okay, now I have my pieces. All I got to do is put them together. Um, so low d high minus high d low over low times low. So low, the derivative of the top one, which is 2x. I almost wrote down the top one. 2x plus 3 um, minus, so this is low d high minus high. So the top function, x squared plus 3x plus 2 times v prime, so 2x divided by x squared minus 1 squared. 
So now, f prime of 2. See, I don't have to simplify if I have an x to plug in. Please, don't ever bother simplifying because uh, you're just giving yourself more opportunities to make uh, mathematical errors or arithmetic errors. So, plug in the 2. So, let's see, 2 squared, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and write 4. 2 squared is 4 minus 1 times. 2 times 2, so that's 4 plus 3 minus. Uh, 2 squared, again, is 4 plus 3 times 2 is 6. Um, plus 2 times 2 times 2 is 4. And then that's over 2 squared, so that's 4, minus 1, and then that's squared. Um, and then just simplify this. Okay, so let me move it down a little. Um, 4 minus 1, so that's 3. What can I write? Oh, there we go. 3 um, times 7 minus uh, 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 2 is 12 12 times 4 and then over 4 minus 1 that's 3 squared 9 so 3 times 7 is 21 minus 48 over 9 so 21 minus 48 that's negative 27 48 yeah divide by 9 and I have negative 3 so nice when the number is a pretty number. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be, right? Um, but it is this time. Okay, next. In this example, we're just finding the derivative. Um, this is the last example for this video. Again, let's count the examples. I did made a mistake in numbering. Um, so, if you notice, Right. What's different about this is that I have two functions on top, and I have a third function on bottom. So this is still quotient rule, but within it, there's a product rule. Um, so a good way to handle this is to figure out, um, well, let me write it down. For example, this is still u over v. However, u is going to be a little tricky. u prime is the derivative of these two functions, the yellow and the green highlighted functions. So my derivative is going to involve the product rule. So then you just do it um, like we did it before, right? Example one, because um, the product rule is easier than the quotient rule. I, I didn't do it too many examples, but no big deal. So u prime, I'll write it down is u times v prime plus v times u prime. Okay, so I realize that I have a u there. I'm not crazy. So maybe, um, let me use another color. Let's call this u and this v. You can use w and, what other? u, v, w, x, y, z. Yeah, usually we use w. Uh, but you can use x and y, or if that's confusing too, a and b, it doesn't matter. So anyway, so let me use this blue instead of the red. Okay, so u is x minus 4. v prime is 2x plus v is x squared minus 7. u prime is 1. x minus 4, if I actually derive that, is 1. So there's my u prime. Oops. Um, so, now I have my u prime. My v prime is the derivative of the x to the fourth, which would be 4x cubed. So, here's my u prime, and here's my v prime. I can go ahead and do the low d high minus high d low. So, the derivative, mm, I don't think that's going to be enough space. Um, so the derivative, okay, so, um, low, right, so v times u prime, ooh, is all that, x minus, I guess I could have simplified that first, but no big deal, 
Okay, so low times V prime minus V. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> low times um, V high, the derivative of the top, minus high, which is x minus 4 times x squared minus 7 times <laughs> v prime, which is 4x cubed. And yeah, I ran out of space. Hold on a second. Okay, I fixed that. All right, so what I was missing was v. And then that, this is all above v squared. Well, okay, v squared, but that's basically x to the 6th power. Now, this is not a pretty equation. Um, I'm honestly not going to bother with the whole simplification of it. Um, what I wanted to get through was this. That sometimes you do have a combination of rules that you have to use within one single problem. Okay. Um, will they ever look this ugly? Probably not on the AP exam. They're not trying to waste your time. They're trying to check to see that if you, you actually know the material. So again, I had three functions because two were being multiplied on top and then one on the bottom. So when I did the derivative um, of u, I had to do the product rule, right? And this was my result. Okay, I had to do the product rule. Um, and then once I did the product rule, that was my u prime. And so when I went over to actually figure out the derivative of this function called f, um, let me see, I want a highlighter. Color I haven't used, I haven't used blue. So when I actually went to do the derivative of this function called f, um, I had to do, um, oh, it's low d high. Oops, I just saw a mistake. This is a boo boo. Should have been just x to the fourth. Ah, <laughs> x to the fourth. Sorry. So it was low. That's the low part right there. Um, the d high. The so. Let me write it down because this, you're still not used to this. So v times u prime minus u times v prime over v squared. All right. So uh, the low should have been just x to the fourth. So that's this. Um, and then this right here, this was the derivative of u. That right there. Right, that we got from here. Over here. Can I write? Okay, there we go. Um, minus u. So this is u. All of this was u, right? If you just look at the function. x minus 4 times x squared minus 7. It's the top, it's the numerator. Um, and then v prime. And this is what I did. I don't know what I was thinking. Wow. I mixed up my low and my d low. Um, so v prime over here should have been the 4x cubed. So hopefully you probably caught me on that um, if you were following along. Hopefully. Um, I caught myself now that I'm looking over this and it looks funny. Okay, so anyway, this right here was my v prime. And then my v, my original v, but then squared. Okay. You have to watch the second part of this video, 2.3b, page 40 on your notes.